Welcome back, guys, to another episode of... A cop's one. Hudson said that Clark was insane. Paranoid. Fixated with numbers. Clark created Nova 6. A nerve toxin that can run through a body in seconds. Dragovich is second in command. Kravchenko tested in Vietnam. On them? On us? On his own? <laughs> he doesn't care. Reznov told me at Vokuda. What did he tell you? Mason, listen to me. It was a long time ago. Far away. Dragovich, Stein, Kratchenko, all must die. But he told me what they did. What kind of men they were. Why they all must die. They all must die, baby. All right. Here we go. My father was a musician in Stalingrad. During the German occupation, the sound of his violin filled the air with magnificent music. Korsakov, Stasov, many of the great nationalist composers. To my countrymen, it was a symbol of hope. To the Germans, it was a symbol of defiance. Even now, his music still haunts me. The Nazis slit his throat while he slept. Collaborating with any Nazi is a betrayal, a betrayal against all of Mother Russia. Dragovich, Krushenko were not troubled by such matters. They look only to advance their own interests and agendas. Right, here we go, boys. Everything is loaded. They are waiting. Victor, it is time. Yes, Dimitri. Time to hunt down the last remnants of the fascist Reich. Nevsky, grab the gear. They're moving out. The men and I have fought through the most bitter of winters on the Eastern Front. We were no strangers to cold, but even now, the blood in my veins chills when I think back to the events of that day. Far, far. Ah! The hero of Berlin graces us with his presence. Have you not tired of battle rhythm? As long as Mother Russia has enemies, I will answer her call. Put aside your petty rivalry, Kravchenko. Captain Reznov will do as he is told. We are here for one German, and one German only, Dr. Friedrich Steiner. This man has offered his cooperation to our cause. He is not to be harmed. Please obey this order, and you will be shot. Alright, so we're looking for a doctor and we can't kill him. It looks like he wants to say something. Come on, spit it out, bro. What happened in Stalingrad between you and Dragovich? When the German occupation began, he and his lapdog, Trachenko, left my men and I hopelessly outnumbered. Promises of reinforcements were made. Made, but not kept. Dragovich and Krachenko are opportunists, manipulators. They are not to be trusted, Dmitry. Dmitry Petrenko was one of the bravest men I have ever known. He fought by my side from the siege of Stalingrad to the fall of Berlin. The wounds he sustained Ensuring our victory should have earned him a hero's welcome to Russia. But Stalin had little need for heroes. The German must not be harmed! We need Steiner alive! Now move! Both of you! Let's go! Here we go, boys. It is good to fight for your side once more. Yes, my friend. 
One final dip. Search every corner of this camp. All is spared. Could be spared. Yeah. We need that round drum mag. Ooh. Mose in the gaunt scoped, okay. Zooms in kind of weird. It's got like the fade. Slower than normal. Missed him twice. Oh, we can even get guys. Ooh, these guys just aren't dying. Before the unscoped. Here we go, boys. Yes, sir. Missed this thing from World of War. Unfortunately, it didn't make it back. It was too OP. <laughs> Beyond OP. Got a lot of recoil in this game. Seeing that splatter of blood when you hit people, that just sprays all behind you. It's gonna be so cool in Black Ops 3 with the uh, specialist characters. And the to come with them. We're shooting as soon as we have recoil. Clinch. They all came back, but they all sound different. This is how hollow that sounds. Stairs? Apparently that glass is unbreakable. Press LB to target mortar strikes. Oh. Oops. Don't want to fire it right there. I didn't realize it was a smoke thing. Yes, sir. I'm going to push up a little bit farther so we can get a better shot. Alright, here we go. Smoke up there. Whoa. Got that bridge. Guys behind us, where? What? I feel like we have to push up. We don't push up in this game, it just starts unlimited spawning. Oop. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? I was gonna throw that in the doorway. Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, we're gonna wait for this mortar to come in, okay. Goodness gracious, dude. 
sit there holding that, knowing that's where I'm gonna throw it, so I can bounce it inside the doorway and it can't kill me. And he comes around the corner right then and there. I'm rushing out this time, right as I've got a quick grenade in my hand. Shooting at us. Here, no. So we're just gonna find Steiner. Jesus. Gonna be in this warehouse? As far away from the battlefield as possible. Right, open this thing up, Petrenko. After this mission, do you think we will go home? I hope so, Dimitri. I hope so. Look at him retreat. Checkpoint, baby, let's go. Got one on that truck and then one on the bridge behind it. Bridge, I don't know if we got it the first time. It might take two. I got the bridge. I don't know if this bridge can actually explode or not. But got another checkpoint, so that's a good sign. Russian victory music. I just feel like I gotta push, 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 push. Private Blake, you almost walked into my grenade as well. I wanted to throw it and then he walked in front of me, alright. Thank you. You did your country a great service by dying right there. So many guys, this is absolutely insane. Back up team. No more smoke and water grenades. that weapon at me, Russian dog. He's got a pistol in his hand. Don't let him kill himself. Shoot his hand or something. You will take me to Dragovich. 
As I looked into the German's eyes, I saw that the fascist like is still burning strong. At that moment, every fiber of my being yearned to put an end to his wretched life. But I was a soldier then. I still believed in orders. Mm. Should have killed him, would have saved us a lot of trouble, but uh Reznov, bring your he did what he was told. What is here that is so important? General Dragovich wishes to make a name for himself. He believes this outpost houses something of great value to the motherland. Dragovich and Steiner are talking like old friends. I do not like this, Reznov. No, I must hurry! There are Germans who would sooner see you destroyed than captured. You assured me there would be no problems. I cannot control the Damn, actions dude. of the SS, General Dagovich. They are sworn to defend the Reich till their last breath. Noble, but futile. Kravchenko, finish up here. Oh my gosh. Enough. You and your men will lead the way. <gasps> yes, sir. Petrenko, Vikarev, Nevsky, Bolo. Oh my god. They're moving out. Stand. I thought they were going to spare him. Tell me more about your association with the Gift Eager Stern Project. In 43, the Fuhrer realized the Allies could not be held back for much longer. We began to look for more unconventional solutions throughout the war. My own research was focused on chemical weapons. It was meticulous and frustrating work. However, what we finally developed was a weapon more effective than we had ever dared to imagine. The weapon now housed within this vessel. Nova Six. Alright. We're supposed to go in here. Holy crap. This way? This is terrifying. Am I playing Black Ops 1 or Amnesia? What the fudge is going on, dude? affected the Nova 6 chemical may be, you still had to find a way to unleash it. Long-range V2 rockets to be launched from this outpost. The targets were command and control centers. Washington DC was our first target. Then Moscow. Hmm. Ambitious and commendable, Herr Steiner. But we were too late. The British were upon us and their bombers crippled the ship. Locked in the ice, we tried to salvage what we could. But it was too late. Germany had surrendered, and a Russian flag flew over Berlin. The SS had orders to destroy the ship if we were attacked. Clearly, they failed. The explosives were never activated. This is it. Reznov, open the door. We had found what we were looking for. Nova 6. The German weapon of mass disruption now belonged to Mother Russia. Or so it seemed. Our victory was to be short-lived. Dragovich wanted to see the effects of the poison firsthand. It was also an opportunity to remove a thorn in his side. I had long known of their distrust. What kind of men they were. It was a betrayal. I should have foreseen. Hell, dude. He deserves the hero's death. Instead of giving his life for the glory of the motherland, he died for nothing. Like an animal. Oh my god. 
He should have died in Berlin. Look at his eyes, dude! As I watched my closest friend die, it became clear we were not the only ones seeking the German weapons. The Western Allies circled like vultures. Of course, Dragovich, Kroshenko, and Steiner scattered like rats, leaving me to contend with the British. British commandos assaulting our positions! Shit. So they were gonna kill us next. And the British came along and they had to, uh... They had to run. Look at this, a sten? Okay, it's kinda like a Type 100. Ooh. This is interesting. It's like a Type 100, but shoots a lot slower. This would have been a cool gun. That's an explosive barrel, and I don't trust it. Never trust explosive barrels in this game. Still not dead yet. Seriously? There you go. I hear you. I see him. Down the rope. Hurry. Yet again, going down the pole, baby. Go, Rastov! Go! Right. It's time to run. Run, Forrest, run. I had destroyed one of the six shipments and prevented it from falling into the hands of the British. But I was a fool to think that the threat was over. It was only after I was captured and sent to Vokuda that I learned of Dragovich's true intentions. He would die before he gives up on Nova Six. Mason, listen to me. We are running out of time, my friend. Can you trust your leaders to destroy it? Or do you think they will use it? The flag may be different, but the methods are the same. They will use you as they used me. You must decide. Decide what you think is worth fighting for. Dragovich, Kravchenko, Stein. These men must die. 